Back in ETV. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Balcony TV Los Angeles. I'm your host, Nick Stubbs. I'm here with Molly Kessner. How's it going? It's going well. What are we going to be playing today? We're playing my new song, I Don't Know. Go for it. into half a side of me is there any point in saying what has already been said when we've played this scene before and we both know how it ends i can't even look you in the eyes sometimes i try for my practice in the way i hate it when i let you see me cry that's why i just say that i don't know forget about it round and round the ring we go Forget about it, oh We can fight, we can scream, we can shout But tonight we won't be working this out So I'll say that I don't know Forget about it, oh Forget about it, I just don't know Forget about it All the sounds I left just so this isn't me just being cold It's letting you figure it out when I'm silent, when I'm stressed When I speak under my breath, no, you shouldn't have to guess What I'm really mad about I can't even look you in the eyes sometimes I try, but my pride gets in the way I hate it when I let you see me cry, that's why I just say that I don't know Forget about it Let's talk about that. That kind of sounds like something that I would possibly like stumble into your room and find in a diary. In a diary? Oh gosh. Well, I mean, I did write it probably like the day after I had an argument with my husband. So I think yeah. you people have arguments on occasion. Yeah. Well, you know, I think for me, I've always been someone who's so afraid of conflict and I would way rather say, I don't know, than get into it with someone. And so it was, kind of me going into session and being like, man, this is something I don't necessarily like about myself, but it's very true. Well, it's good to actually like acknowledge parts of who you are and yeah. like open them up to allow them and not suppress them. So yeah, totally absolutely. get that. All it's right. Fun. So let's talk about where you're from and the whole yeah. transition. Cause yeah. I can totally relate. Uh, Midwest, Minnesota. Yes. And you want to talk a little bit about it? Um, so I grew up small town, Austin, Minnesota. You probably haven't heard of it unless you really love spam because that's where spam is created. I mean, <laughs> who doesn't like spam? Um, exactly. That's what I was hoping for. Um, so if you ever want to go visit the spam museum, come to my hometown. Oh, I already have my book. My I, I'm already flight you. booked oh, and everything. Okay, great. 
Um, <laughs> but yeah, I grew up there and um, I guess for me, I always grew up singing and I played instruments and I loved music. My family was musical, but when you're from a small town, um, I think you have this idea like, well, that's probably never gonna happen for me. You know, like I didn't grow up with connections. I'm not related to any famous people that I know of. Uh, so I don't know how I would even pursue something like that. Um, and then when I was 18 years old, uh, I had a song blow up that I had written and it kind of just opened my whole perspective on what was possible for me as an artist and uh, as a writer, as an influencer, all of that. I love that. Yeah. And not to mention the big thing is that like really with all this that you've been doing and how everything's been going on, opening up yourself to allow yourself to be who you really are, I think yeah. is really important. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I think that was my biggest fear moving from Minnesota to Los Angeles is like, you see so many people lose themselves in the whole process of trying to succeed in what they're doing. And um, I feel like I've just surrounded myself with people who love who I am um, at my most authentic form. And that keeps me grounded. Oh, I can totally dig that. I really think the big thing out here is that uh, people have issues mainly because they just want to be famous. They don't want to do it for the right reasons. Yeah. Um, I think, uh... Your paparazzi's waiting. I know. The helicopters, they're after me. Um, <laughs> I think that's so true. And, uh, for me, I guess, fame is something that I think destroys a lot of people. And, um, to me, when I had this opportunity, that's exactly what it is. It's an opportunity to influence people, right? So I only want to use that, um, in the best way possible. And I never want to influence people to be something other than who they truly are. I love that. I definitely take to heart that as well. Yeah. So let's talk about the uh, the music that you have coming out right yeah. now. This is the fourth one that you've actually released. And when are we going to be getting to hear some more of your stuff? Well, you'll just have to wait and see. Are you being coy? <laughs> I uh, That is my middle name. No, it's not. It's Kate. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Um, or is it? <laughs> Well, or is it? Um, no, I've got m new music coming out and coming soon, but uh, you guys will have to kind of watch and see. Maybe go to your socials. Yeah, maybe check it out. I don't know. Hashtag check me out. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm uh, curious, considering you didn't really like have a background with uh, music or anything, do you have anyone who's uh, influenced you like in new music right now that has impacted how you actually write and perform and man in music right now yeah. gosh i feel like um well someone who i think is doing really well right now uh is julia michaels and you said issues and you're like people out here have issues and i was like julia michaels <laughs> um and i think it's cool that she came sh to she was writing way before she broke as an artist and um i to me i look at myself just as much as a songwriter as i do as an artist so um, I love I love singer songwriters. I love Adele. I love Ed Sheeran. These writers who, um, when when they sing songs, you feel it because you know that they mean wrote it. those words. Yeah. Well, speaking of that, I think there's a little story behind you and Kelly Clarkson. You care to uh, shed some light on that? Yeah. Um, so when I moved out here, I was just focusing on writing for myself, uh, but through kind of a random series of events, I ended up being able to write for Kelly Clarkson. And I have a couple songs. I hear she's kind of a big deal. Yeah, she's she's like the coolest. And it's so crazy because I, w I mean, I was just a kid when I was listening, jamming out to break away in my bedroom. So nice. to, to be able to have written a couple songs that now should be coming out on her record is just, I mean, it's unbelievable. That's so awesome. Are you gonna be touring anytime soon? Yes, I will. Um, I'm hoping to tour quite a few cities this fall. So keep a lookout, peeps. <laughs> awesome. Molly, <laughs> thanks so much for your time. It was definitely a blast. And, Thank you. Uh, enjoy your rest of your time while you're in you. LA. Thank you. Hey, thanks for having me. Absolutely. This is Nick Stubbs reporting for Balcony TV Los Angeles. Back to you. Balcony TV.